Hello. We're going to practice more about making an appointment with a doctor or at a clinic. Um, we already, we did a conversation last video and there are some more questions that you maybe will hear if you call to make an appointment. So I am going to be the receptionist and you can imagine that you are calling me. Carillion Clinic, may I help you? What's your last name? Can you spell that please? What's your date of birth? Are you a new patient? Hmm. Who is your primary care physician? Do you have insurance? Who is your provider? Okay. Can you come on Friday, April 24th at 3 o'clock? Okay. Thank you. See you then. So there are some more questions that maybe you will hear when you call to make an appointment. Let's look at the questions. Here is one question that you might hear, maybe. Are you a new patient? Are you a new patient? Maybe when you go to school, maybe a teacher asks you, are you a new student? So what does that mean? Are you a new student? It means it is your first time coming to class. It's your first class. You are new. You are a new student. So sometimes they ask, are you a new patient? What is a patient? A patient is like a customer. A patient is a person who is sick and they go to the doctor. So here is a doctor and the person who is sick is a patient. Are you a new patient? So they want to know, is this your first time? Is this your first time coming to the clinic? Is this your first time coming to the doctor? Are you a new patient? Are you a new patient? What do I say? What do I say? I can say yes. Or no. Yes, mm -mm. what goes here? Are you a new patient? I say, yes, I am. Because I always want the verb to be the same. If the question is, are you? The answer is, yes, I am, am. So always listen to the first word. Yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you a new patient? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are you a new patient? Repeat. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Another question you might hear is, who is your primary care physician? Who 
is your primary care physician. What does that mean? Who? Who is when I'm asking about a person? For example, who is your teacher? Who is your teacher? Ah, Miss Joy. Miss Joy is your teacher. Who is your doctor? Who is your doctor? I have a doctor. I see the same doctor. So I have one doctor I go to every time. And they have my name, they have my date of birth. Uh, I always see the doctor, the same doctor. So they are asking, who is your doctor? Do you have a doctor that you see again and again and again and again? Do you have a doctor that you see many times? That is a primary care physician. That is the doctor that you go to every time or the doctor that your children go to every time. So that is called primary care physician. And sometimes they ask you, who is your primary care physician? That means who is your doctor? Some people have a doctor they go to again and again. Some people do not have a doctor. And maybe you have a doctor, maybe you don't have a doctor. So, who is your primary care physician? I have a doctor, so I say my doctor's name. Ah, Dr. Collins. Dr. Collins. Who is your primary care physician? Dr. Collins. So I say my, my doctor's name. Doctor is D-R period. That's the abbreviation. Doctor. Dr. Collins. C-O-L-L-I-N-S. Dr. Collins. So I say my doctor's name. Or maybe I don't have a doctor. So you can say, I don't have a doctor. I don't have a doctor. I don't have a doctor. So if it's yes, I have a doctor, I say the name, Dr. Collins. If I don't have a doctor, I say, I don't have a doctor. Who is your primary care physician? Dr. Collins. Or, who is your primary care physician? I don't have a doctor. So that's what I say, if I am a new patient, maybe I say, I don't have a doctor, I am a new patient. So we'll review. Are you a new patient? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Who is your primary care physician? Dr. Collins. Or, I don't have a doctor. Another thing you might hear, primary care physician. This word starts with P. This word starts with C. This word starts with P. Sometimes they ask, who is your PCP? PCP, primary care physician. So they might ask, who is your PCP? This marker is no good.
Who is your PCP? Dr. Collins. Who is your PCP? I don't have a doctor. So these are two questions. Maybe they ask you when you call to make an appointment, or maybe they ask you when you go to your appointment. Okay, now I have two more questions for you. Two more questions. Sometimes they ask you when you call to make an appointment. Do you have insurance? Insurance. Do you have insurance? Who is your provider? Who is your provider? So first, do you have insurance? Do you have insurance? I have insurance. So I have an insurance card. Here is an example of an insurance card. So when you have insurance, you pay money to the company and then they help you pay for the doctor. You pay money every month. Every month you pay money. And this is an insurance card. Some people have Medicaid. Some people have Medicare. That is also insurance. Do you have insurance? Yes. I say yes. Yes, or no. Do you have insurance? Yes. What goes here? So remember to look at the question. What is the question? Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Who is your provider? What is provider? Provider. Hmm. Who? Who is your provider? So maybe they are asking about a person? Because this question is the same. Who is your primary care physician? Who is your doctor? Dr. Collins. Who is your teacher? Miss Joy. Who is your provider? What is provider? Provider. Provider is the company for your insurance. Your insurance company. If you have a card, it is here at the top of the card. So this person, you can see the company is Blue Cross Blue Shield. That is the name of the company. And then here is the customer's information. This is Thomas Hunter. That is the patient's name. And the company is Blue Cross Blue Shield. Blue Cross Blue Shield is the provider. So the provider is the company name. So I'll show you my card, but I will cover my information. 
So you will see my name, Jennifer Truskowski, and my company is Anthem. So at the top is the company, Anthem. So if you have insurance, look at your card. At the top is the company, and that is your provider. Who is your provider? For me, Anthem. That is the name of my insurance company. Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Who is your provider? Anthem. So maybe they ask, do you have insurance? Say, yes, I do. Who is your provider? Anthem. Or they ask, do you have insurance? No, I don't. Okay. No insurance, no provider. So I don't ask this question. But these are two questions maybe they ask when you call. Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Who is your provider? Anthem. Or whatever your company is. When you make an appointment, you have to listen for the date and the time. So I want you to write on a piece of paper so go get a notebook and write one, two, three, four, five. We're going to practice listening for dates and times. I'm going to tell you five appointment dates and times. You have to listen and write. When you call for an appointment, they will tell you a date and time. Okay, so get your paper, write one to five. Here we go. Number one. Can you come February 4th at 1.30? Number two. Your appointment is November 5th at 12 o'clock. Number three. Can you come May 30th at 4 o'clock? Number four. Your appointment is April 28th at 3 o'clock. Okay, I'll repeat. So remember, if you're on the phone, you can say, excuse me, can you repeat please? Or, excuse me, can you repeat slowly? Number one, February 4th at 1.30. February 4th at 1.30. Number two, November 5th at 12 o'clock. November 5th at 12 o'clock. Number three, May 30th at four o'clock. 
May 30th at 4 o'clock. Number 4. January 2nd at 9.30. January 2nd at 9.30. Number five, April 28th at three o'clock. April 28th at three o'clock. Let's see how you did. Okay, how did you do? Number one, February 4th at 1.30. Number two, November 5th at 12 o'clock. Number three, May 30th at 4 o'clock. Number four, January 2nd at 9.30. Number five, April 28th at 3 o'clock. Okay, so on Wednesday, we are going to continue practicing making an appointment. We will practice the new questions and we will practice listening to dates and times. And that's it. See you in class on Wednesday. Thank you.